is it really even a YouTube video if I don't say that I'm back? So yeah, it's been a while, and like about a f probably two years ago, I said I was gonna come back with more in real life content with baseball and stuff. I mean, I've uploaded a few videos, but they're all unlisted right now just for reasons that don't need to be disclosed. But yeah, I'm back with another video after, you know, I'm not even going to say that I'm back anymore. But I'm just back with a new video just to kind of say where I've been. I doubt that most people who used to watch me even are still here anymore. But if you are, I give you props for sticking around. I really appreciate it though. Yesterday was the five year anniversary of me hitting a thousand subscribers and that made me feel really old. Like. That was me back in high school when I was a junior in high school thinking I had, I sounded really good. I sounded like a kid. I had a really high voice, but now we're just chilling. Made me think, I was like, damn, I should make another video again. I'm going to try to make a couple like throughout the months, but no promises there. Well, today's video is just going to be a little update where I've been, what I've been doing uh, in June 20, actually no, the end of May, 2021, I went to Florida to play a summer baseball league there. It wasn't the greatest experience playing wise but it was fun i knew like i know what i had to work on and do i performed okay we'll, we'll leave it there people i was with brody garner billy all you guys it was fun it was a great summer i couldn't have asked for a better group of people to spend time with and then after that i was in florida for two months so i was there from like the end of may to the very end of july so i live in california the drive there took about four days just splitting up into four 10 hour drives pretty much and by the time we get back i decided to start powerlifting training with uh, one of my boys, his name's Maddie. And yeah, pretty much since then, I've just been powerlifting training along with doing baseball and the two going hand in hand with each other has really helped me a lot. Like getting stronger within powerlifting has made my hitting a lot stronger too on the baseball field. Like I'm flipping balls out of the yard now that I could only dream of years prior. And the last six months, I've just been consistently powerlifting training. I just finished my sixth block right now. So it's been exactly six months now since I started. And I made some good progress, and this video is just going to be showing my training day from today as I'm recording this, which is February 5th at Bay Area Barbell. If you guys live in the Richmond area or just want to go check out a great powerlifting gym, go check out Bay Area Barbell in Richmond, California. It is a great experience. The owners there are great. The people there are great. The vibes are great. It's overall a good gym. Everyone's friendly there. So I'll probably follow this up with a little bit more baseball videos afterwards, but this video is just going to be a slight update now and uh, the training session today, which was a really fun one. Most of the footage here is probably going to have to be muted because we had music blasting throughout the entire gym but i'll leave it unmuted for certain parts so starting off i had an spd day so starting with squats we had a squat single and then we had squat back off at three by six everything today was at a seven to a seven to eight but it was full send day because you know felt a little heavier than usual but <laughs> then going into this single, I made the jump from 330 to 363.8 because I knew this would be a new PR for me and this would be a 2.5 kg PR, which would give my all time total of 500 keys. <laughs> And after seeing how that last single moved, I decided to make the jump and try and hit three reds. And here it is. It moved a lot better than I thought it was. I figured it'd be like an eight to a nine, but my coach said it was like a seven, eight. So we're chilling there. So I decided to cut it there. I was very satisfied with that. And then back, and then now on to the back house of three by six. had a three by eight touch and go bench has been clicking a lot for me lately my tech is finally down and bench is feeling good for once
And moving on to deads now, this is my first block of fully switching to sumo, so this is my technical fourth week of sumo. The first two and a half weeks were really fucking bad, like it just felt like shit. everything wasn't moving, everything felt heavy as hell, and then all of a sudden at the end of week three, I just stopped hinging my hips so far into the ground that it's finally clicked, so today it was really good. <laughs> So now for my top set, we had a double at a 7-8. I really wanted to hit 45 for reps because I've only hit this for a single before conventional and I haven't even hit it yet on sumo. So it was kind of a full send type of day because you know how it is. And now onto my back offs, I just had a 3x6 out of 7. This set right here was 396 for 6, which was a rep PR and a sumo rep PR. <laughs> And yeah, that is basically it for this video. And it was a great training session and a great way to end off my sixth block, for, which is basically my sixth month of powerlifting. With things going forward with this channel, I'm probably not gonna post games anymore on this channel just because, I mean, I have lost interest. Like, I don't play as much as I used to anymore and I just have no interest in making content for it because in my opinion, gaming is so oversaturated on YouTube and Twitch now that it's just no point for me to like keep doing it. So pretty much, I'm just gonna post training videos of my my lifts or any baseball related videos so yeah that is it for this video make sure you leave a like and also hit that subscribe button and i will see you in the next one peace